Welcome to Global Technology 5173. Uh, where are we now? What time is it now? Fall 2013. And believe it or not, we are coming to the end of our semester. It has been a wonderful semester, I hope. And uh, today is no less, even maybe the best day in the class. Now, this is your day. How about that? This is your day. When I point at you, say big shine. This is your day. Shine. Excellent. Uh, before telling why we've chosen this topic, uh, we would we'd like to, uh, t from the last class, uh, if you have remember, we spoke about the future technologies. Uh, then we all sat together. Uh, we have come up to this topic because this is a future technology, I believe. Uh, as, as, as Brad has already, already thrown a light on nanotechnology, uh, I have been interested in nanotechnology from, from, from the engineering days. And now I want to give a full-fledged uh, presentation on carbon nanotubes. This is the building blocks of the future technology. Uh, myself, Sunny, here is Raghu, Tejas, Pramod, and here is Mohini. So uh, our pre presentation overview, starting with the introduction to nanotechnology, uh, why we chose the carbon nanotubes and what is special in them, uh, history about the carbon nanotubes, the classification, the development, the properties, applications, and the conclusion. Uh, right from the word, uh, from the from the word nanotechnology, the, we get uh, nano. Nano is ten to the power of nine. Uh, to the naked eye, hair follicle is the smallest thing that we can see. But if you want to know how uh, how much the nano uh, particle would be, uh, it is ten thousand times smaller than the than our hair hair particle, hair follicle. As I said, nanotechnology is science, engineering and technology conducted at nano school, which is about 1 to 100 nanometers. Uh, I put this animated figure because this is the latest uh, that the nano particle, uh, the latest uh, engine that is made with the nano particles. It has 15,342 atoms. This parallel shaft speed uh, reducer gear is one of the largest nano mechanical devices ever modeled in atomic detail. Oh, let's go to the past. How does how it all started? On December 29, 1959, a physicist by name Richard Feynman, uh, in his lecture, I mean he was in a meeting while he was while he was talking, he said he described a process in which scientists would be able to manipulate and control individual atoms and molecules. A compound is made up of atoms and molecules. So he has gone down to the level of atoms, and if, uh, he talked about this nanoparticle on December 29, that is 1959. He said there's plenty of room at the bottom. That means he went narrowed down to the atoms and spoke about this. Over a decade later, a professor by name Norio Taniguchi, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, uh, coined the term first coined the term nanotechnology. Until year 1981, with the development of scanning, uh, there there there, in, uh, there were not uh, microscopes. Uh, to able to see these nanoparticles. Only in 1981, they, they uh, discovered this uh, scanning tunnel -like microscope so that everybody could see the nanoparticle and scientists would work on top of it. Uh, so why nanotechnology and why, why nanoparticles? These nanoparticles are high, uh, higher, they have the higher strength, they are lighter in weight, they are increased, they have the increased control of light spectrum, greater greater chemical reactivity than their large scale counterparts. That is the reason these particles are widely used in, in uh, almost all the, uh, in all the fields of science and technology. What exactly are carbon nanotubes? Uh, a new form of carbon made by rolling up a graphite sheet. You know graphite is made up of carbon uh, to a narrow but long tube closed at both sides by fullerene like end caps. This structure is fullerene. Fullerene is nothing but a molecule of carbons which is these are all the carbon molecules. Uh, when it is closed by the carbon here, they exist in uh, three different structures. One is spherical, one is elliptical, and one is uh, tubular. Through intentional alteration of their physical and chemical properties, fullerenes exhibit an extremely wide range of interesting and potentially useful properties. Because of their structure and uh, their chemical properties, these have been uh, widely used in all sectors. Oh, when I go back to the history of carbon nanotubes, it was first discovered in the year 1991. That, that is when the carbon nanotubes have been discovered by uh, as Lijma. Thereby, year by year, there has been the development on top of 
uh, on top of it and the research is still going on and we have into the year 2013 the last the latest was researchers build a carbon nanotube computer uh, when i when i talk about this i remember uh, of olympics 2009 where phelps you the greatest swimmer of all time wore a swimsuit it it had the nanoparticles in them why he wore is like uh, the particles on the i mean the nanoparticles on the swimsuit uh, repelled the water and he could swim uh, f faster than other other competitors that's and uh, uh, and we also have the sunscreen lotions with the nanoparticles uh, this is a risk uh, but there are some risk in nanotechnology but if you consider the risk there is also a risk risk of not developing the nanotechnology which is the future technology uh, there is uh, i go I, I go into the classification of carbon nanotubes there are two types of classifications one is called single wall carbon uh, carbon nanotubes as it is self explanatory it is composed of a single cylinder of carbon single cylinder of carbon as you see in the figure it has a single cylinder of carbon and the next classification is multi wall carbon nanotubes it has again it's a self explanatory term consisting of concentric tubes of cylinders of carbon like this imagine a straw within a straw that's how it looks three types of nanotubes are possible within that you have three types of uh, again a uh, nanotubes one is zigzag tubes one is armchair and one is chiral uh, zigzag tubes if you see this figure uh, this the carbon bonding will run through from the start to the bottom this is zigzag uh, the, the, that's why they, they are named zigzag the advantages because of its structure as i said earlier because of its structure it is it has greatest application compared to all the counterparts because of this structure the uh, they conduct the electricity better than the regular metal, regular metals when you con uh, when you consider the armchair tubes they have carbon bonds perpendicular to the length of the tube as you see again in the figure this is the length and the, it is perpendicular the carbon bonding is perpendicular to the length of the nanotube advantage they act as a semiconductors which either conduct or don't conduct electricity based on the sur surrounding environment that is the advantage B based on the su surrounding environment they change the behavior and chiral it's probably least used these are decent conductors but not great all other tubes are called chiral and behave like semi metals next i would give, hand it over to they yes, should be speaking about the structure of carbon nanotubes hi i am tejas i would like to continue with structure of carbon nanotubes after the detailed introduction of detailed introduction by sunny so carbon nanotubes exist as a uh, macromolecule of carbon at higher pressure nanotubes can merge together like by trading some sp2 sp2 bonds and sp3 bonds giving great flex uh, possibility for producing strong unlimited unlimited length wires through high pressure nanotube linking so we'll watch a small video on this one carbon nanotubes a one carbon material they were discovered about 10 years ago a new molecular form carbon discovered holds serious and new and unexpected physical, mechanical, and chemical properties. These unique properties make nanotubes a key element in nanotechnology. Carbon nanotubes are cylindrical elongated structures with a diameter of one to several tens of nanometers and can be up to several centimeters long. They consist of one or more. Nanotubes, armchair, or spike tooth. N equals M, zigzag like, zigzag, M equals zero, or N equals zero. Helical, charcoal, nanotubes. One of the remarkable properties of carbon nanotubes is that it increases with increasing temperature. Nanotubes can be used in the following areas. Mechanical applications, heavy duty fibers, composite materials, and nanocycles. Applications in microelectronics, transistors, nanowires, transparent conductive surfaces, and fuel cells to create connections between biological neurons and electrical devices in the latest new computer developments. Computer applications, capsules for active molecules, manuals and gas storage. Carbon nanotubes can exhibit metallic properties or semiconducting properties. 
In particular, the semiconducting nanotubes are direct gap semiconductors that exhibit excellent optical properties. And furthermore, nanotubes are only several nanometers in diameter. Communication is a technology of the future, and the key to that technology may be carbon nanotubes with a diameter of just several nanometers. The Cato Group uses customized equipment for this type of research and development, and they are making progress. The properties of carbon nanotubes, uh, they have general properties, single wall nanotube absorption properties, transport properties, mechanical properties and reactivity. Uh, general properties, uh, single wall nanotube uh, carbon nanotube diameters fall in the na nanometer ranges and uh, it can be hundreds of micrometers long. They are stable up to 750 degree Celsius in air and uh, up to 1500 to 1800 degree Celsius in inert atmosphere beyond which they are transformed into regular polarotic solids. Mm, they have of the mass density of aluminum, while the length of a single wall nanotube carbon, carbon nanotube can be macroscopic. The diameter has a molecular dimension. Uh, it is an interesting feature, the interesting feature of a, a single wall nanocarbon tube is that uh, it has very high surface area. Uh, example single graphene sheet is probably the unique example of the material energetically stable in normal conditions. Mm, single wall nanotube in bundles, but isolated and provided the provided the uh, single wall nanotube have an one end open uh, the real surface area and it is equal to the single flat graphene. The another properties transport properties. Uh, the narrow diameter of a uh, single wall nanotube has a strong influence on its electronic uh, excitations uh, due to its small size compared to the characteristic length scale uh, of low energy electronic excitations. Combined with the particular shape of the electronic bond structure of graphene, carbon nanotubes are ideal quantum wise. These are the mechanical properties. Uh, The mechanical properties while tabular nano morphology is also observed for the many of two dimensional solids. Uh, carbon nanotubes are unique through the particularly strong three folded bonding of the curved graphene sheets. Uh, this makes carbon nanotubes uh, uh, single wall nanotubes as well as the multi wall nanotubes particularly stable against deformations. The tensile strength of a single wall nanotube is 20 times uh, stronger than the steel and as actually been measured up to 45 GPA. Then reactivity is one uh, another property of the carbon nanotube. It is a chemical reactivity of graphite, fluorescence and carbon nanotubes exhibits some common features like uh, any small objects, carbon nanotubes have a large surface which they can interact with the environment. Next application part will be continued by my friend uh, Mohini. Hello, good evening everyone. Now I am going to talk about the topic applications in carbon nanotubes. Nanotubes hold the promise of creating all devices such as carbon based single electron transistors that are significantly smaller than conventional transistors. And nanotubes, excellent strength to weight ratios creates the potential to build an elevator to the space. For carbon nanotube applications in electronics, sensors, biomedical, uh, no. In electronics, uh, they are used for uh, to interconnect the qu quantum wires, diodes, and transistors for computing, and they are used for data storages and preparation of ca capacitors, and also flat panel displays. 
any medical, uh, biomedical field, nano records for implication, lab of the chip, and vision chip for molecular degeneration, retain cell transplantation. Uh, uh, nano materials in, the, uh, in drug delivery. Dissolution candidates may be the rate limiting step in absorption process of many drugs. Decreasing the practical size, increases the surface area and the dissolution candidates. Uh, alternative water soluble polymer based nanoparticles, these are more site specific and exhibit better controlled release characteristics. Uh, what are the health hazards that face by using nano carbon tubes? According to the scientists at the Na National Institute of Standards and Technology, carbon nanotubes shorter than about 200 nanometers readily enter into human lung cells uh, that may increase uh, similar to the uh, aerosols dust and may pose an increased risk to the health. Carbon nanotubes along with the majority of nanotechnology are an unexplored matter and many of possible health hazards are still unknown. And the Yeah, uh, coming to the conclusion, uh, the carbon nanotube represents one of the highlights to emerge from nanotechnology research and development to date. These materials have attracted significant research attention over the past decade due to their potential for breakthrough in a broad range of applications. Like uh, because of its uh, extraordinary thermal conductivity and uh, it has some electrical and mechanical properties uh, through which we can add this as an add-on in some of the like sunny set, it's in swimsuit and baseball bats and even in the uh, golf clubs it can be used in multi places so however given the novel applications of nanotube it can be difficult to compare these materials to more conventional macroscopic materials furthermore nanotube do offer the possibility of revolutionary rather than evolutionary developments in many product applications Many new applications of carbon nanotube are constant being discovered and many are yet to be discovered. That's, that's a conclusion. even maybe the best day in the class. Now this is your day. How about that? This is your day. When I point at you, say big shine. This is your day. Shine. Excellent. Uh, before Telling why we chosen this topic, uh, we would would like to. Uh, from the last class, uh, if you have remember, we spoke about the future technologies. Uh, then we all sat together. Uh, we have come up to this topic because this is the future technology. I believe, uh, as 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 Brad has already already thrown a light on nanotechnology. Uh, I has been interested in nanotechnology from 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 the engineering days, and now I want to give a full fledged. Uh, Presentation on carbon nanotubes. This is the building blocks of the future technology. Uh, myself, Sunny, here's Raghu, Tejas, Pramod, and here's Mohini. So, uh, our pre presentation overview. Welcome to Global Technology 5173. Uh, where are we now? What time is it now? Fall 2013. And believe it or not, we are coming to the end of our semester. It has been a wonderful semester, I hope. And uh, today is no less 